Hi, I'm going to present how to use uh, Jenkins and Docker in a Jenkins. So I'm going to Jenkins, and now inside the Jenkins, I have a job. And the job I was presenting previously in previous video, so you need to watch that, how to make it work. And go to the configure section, and if you will scroll down a little bit, at the end, you can see there is a pipeline script. So we will use pipeline script inside the Jenkins chat because I would like to present how it is working here. And in the next video, we will create a Jenkins pipeline Groovy file and we will use the option pipeline script from SCM. But now we are creating this inside the job. So what you need to do, you need to just copy this, just like that, from this website and paste it here. And the only one thing it, you need to add, I will explain in a moment why, is this, the label. Uh, just a second. Go and that and label and it will be Docker. Um, and apply and save. And if you will go to the dashboard and you will go to the build executor status, you can see I have a Docker node. It's a virtual machine created in Proxmox um, with Docker installed. So it's Linux actually. And it's added to the um, Jenkins. And I was presenting how to connect with um, node that so you need to watch the video about this. And if you will go to the configure section and you will see that there is a label section and I put the name Docker here. So I have put this and thanks to this, I can use label. So because I defined in the job, uh, in the configure section, I defined the label, um, it tells the job actually tells that it should run the alpine image on the node that is labeled as a docker okay so here we go and build now and now it should work and if you will go to the 71 and also out and it's not working because invalid agent type docker is pretty far. oh what did now oh, what happened what did you do? Actually nothing. What you need to do to make it work, you need to install Docker plugins. Two plugins are required. So go to the manage Jenkins, go to the plugin section, go to the available plugins, type Docker here and select Docker and Docker pipeline and install without restart. And you can see it's also downloading Docker commands, Docker API, and voila. So it took one, two, three, and four plugins, right? And loaded the extension. And go to the dashboard now, go to the Jenkins test, go here and build now. And we will see 72. Is it building the output? Um, it's trying and success. What is trying to actually, why it's working? I will try to explain this. Um, sometimes it may not work and you will receive an error. So I will explain why. And just give me a second. And first of all, I will restart the um, Restart Docker socket and Docker service. We'll start it here. And I will here to the um, PL restart. But uh, I can use the Jenkins, of course, service. And I will do this here. And I will present the error because I did one thing and I will explain in a moment what is going on here. And you should be able to see and the status here and working and 
the status here. That working. Lovely. So we are going back to the here. What I did, I restarted the Docker socket and Docker service here, and I checked the status. And I restarted the Jenkins service, sudo so systemctl restart Jenkins service, and check the status of the Jenkins service. Okay, so I'm going back to the Jenkins now, and I will click on the logo. It will show me the panel, login to the Jenkins, and I will try to run the job once again, and you should see the error here. And I will explain in a moment why. So build now. And you should see the error. Console output. OK. And you can see there is a permission denied. So what is going on here? So you need to go to the CLI and in the command line uh, on actually on a Docker service, you need to add Check the Jenkins user. And the Jenkins user is not a user that is added to the Docker group. So you need to add this Jenkins users to the Docker group and restart Jenkins service. So sudo user mode dash a capital G, and it should be Docker as a group and Jenkins as a user and ID Jenkins. And now it's added to the Docker. And now restart Docker socket and service and check the status. It's working. So now it's good to check if it's working. I'm not restarting the checking. Okay, going back to browser. And here we go. We will see if it's working or not. Is it working? Build now or not? Is it working or oh, not? 74. Um, what is going on here? Mm, permission denied. So you can restart safely Jenkins from here. I'm using this plugin, plugin, but you can also go to the command line and restart the uh, here, the Jenkins. So to the system restart Jenkins service. And we need to wait a little bit longer. It's restarting. Come on and clean. Check the status. The status is okay. So we are going back to browser and click on the logo and log in once again to the drinking. Go and the dot. You should be able to run the job. Click on the Jenkins Tech Project job and build now. And it should show the next number here, 75. And click on the console output. And you can see it's running. So it's building and it will finish with success. Lovely. And what version we have? 18.16.0. If you want to have a newer version, you can do something like that. Go to the configure and you can use the latest so version. Okay, so instead of this, delete this and just leave as it is, note form, and then type latest. That why save that is all. And eventually what you can do actually can do something like this, and you can use the page, and eventually you can do this. Uh, it can be like that. Three, no, and three instead of one. And we can also three do this and cut it to see or release. See the rating save, and now build. Go to the version 76, cancel output, and you can see there is a problem. Multiple compilation errors, exception status file. Okay, so go back here, configure, maybe there's something wrong with this, and we can try, ah, I was missing one, this. 
apply, save, build now. I need to be very careful. And you can see console output, blah, 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 blah. But this is a warning and pipeline test. And you can see Debian, no Linux 12, bookworm, Debian, and a version of the node 20.3.1. Lovely, right? And go to the dashboard and now just click here schedule and you should see it's running in the docker node lovely so the job was performed on the docker node not on the built-in node but on our docker node excellent and if you will go here and you will go to the um status you can see everything is here and if you click logs you can see it like that and of course you can do something else um and i will present in the next video how to make it work actually <clears throat> instead of defining the pipeline inside the job we will just define the pipeline inside a jenkins groovy file and we will put this pipeline in our gitlab and we will use the second option from the drop down list pipeline script from stm and we will provide the url to the gitlab repository that contains exactly this jenkins groovy file and inside this jenkins groovy file there will, there will be a pipeline defined and thanks to this you will be able to run actually everything from the gitlab and you will not have to define each time pipeline inside a job. You are creating just a simple job and then you are providing a GitLab repository and it should work like a charm. And the next step will be modifying Jenkins pipeline. And after that, when we will modify it, we will run a Docker container inside this Docker node. And inside this Docker container, we'll do some tests. We will check if it's running correctly and we will check the operating system. And after that, when everything is working fine, then we will try to do something more advanced like running tests of some simple application or even simple website that is checking only one thing. And I will try to present on the screen how to make it work using a Jenkins. So, Thanks to this, you will be able to test actually any application in the future. Okay, I hope I explained it well. So take care and see you soon. Bye bye. Have a nice day or night.